Hey, 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 it's your girl Stacy, and it's time for the weekend vlog. So, today's topic is staycation challenge. And I got this from um, an email from Massage Envy Spa, which I'm a member of. And I've this caught my eye because it's summer, people are traveling now, and I've been trying to give you guys packing trips and uh, tips, I'm sorry, packing tips and things, you know, cooking, like barbecue, all summer related topics. So this was a good one and I wanted to use it. I'm going to read what they said and put my own little spin on it. And But before I get started, I wanted to let you know today I'm so random. I was driving, running some errands and I posted just like a three, three minute vlog on old school hip hop and my errands and all that stuff. So if you want some more uh, material to watch this weekend, check out my vlog that I posted earlier today, okay? It's on YouTube. So, uh, first thing they say, number one, they give you nine challenges for the staycation. And I'm saying that right, staycation. You ain't going nowhere. You're going to be around the crib. Challenge. All right, so the first one is create an itinerary. Whether it's a long weekend or week off, plan your time off like you would any vacation. Plan your departure time and your arrival back. Schedule everything you want to do in between. This helps you stick to the plan, in quotations, um, the key to attaining your at-home vacation getaway. So I agree with that. So if you know you're going to have a long weekend, plan it. You know, okay, Friday 5 o'clock when I get off, I'm on vacation. And you get, you, you know, govern yourselves accordingly to that. And you plan what you're going to do. You're going to go to dinner that night, sleep in in the morning, whatever. Okay? Uh, number two, do not disturb. Whether you want to rekindle the romance or be with your family, let friends and relatives know about your plans and how reachable you want to be during your time off. So if you don't want to be bothered, look, y'all, I'm on vacation. If you need me, text me, but don't call me between Friday and Monday or from Friday to Friday, depending on how long you take off. So let people know that even though you might be in town, your whole purpose is to be on vacation. Okay? Number three, disconnect. And of course the phone would ring, but I'm not answering it. So guys, please disregard. I'm Usually I take the phone off the hook, but I forgot. Alright, uh, but it's a perfect segue into this um this uh, topic, disconnect. Our devices keep us connected, but they also distract us from having fun and from doing a vlog. Uh, that, mean, that means no smartphone, email, computer, or video games, and TV. This can be tough, but after a few days of being off the grid, you'll gain greater peace of mind. I agree with that. However, comma, when I'm on vacation, I still have my cell phone, you know, so I can take pictures, so I can post pictures for you guys, do my vlogs, etc. But if you really have been bogged down and really just need to be off the grid, I definitely suggest following it. Disconnect. Uh, number four, don't lift a finger. When you're on vacation, you leave the chores behind. Staycations are no different. So no cooking, laundry, cleaning, yard work, or home improvement projects. If a clean home makes you feel more at ease, arrange for a cleaning service to come in one day while you're out. For meals, bring in, take out. Everything else can wait until you've returned. Totally agree. And before I even read that, I was thinking what I probably would do if I knew I was going to be at home, I would probably have, you know, someone. I have a lady that comes and cleans my house, and I love her dearly, Teresa. I would call Teresa. Teresa, can you come hook her sister up and, you know, do that so I feel like I'm on vacation the house is clean it smells fresh etc um, so yes I totally agree with that and I do take out anyway so that would be nothing new for me but you know that's I agree with that as well don't cook don't clean don't do that laundry put it in the laundry room close the door act like you don't even see it uh, do new things this is number five this is a perfect time to try something new Nature lover, find a hiking trail you've never taken or set up camp in your backyard and sleep under the stars. Discover culture, attend the symphony, go to an ex art exhibit. Better yet, take an art class. Explore a new cuisine. Just because you haven't traveled to an exotic place doesn't mean you can't taste the food. Okay, so I agree with that. Do some new things you've never done. I don't think I'll be taking any kind of 
hiking trips or camping in my yard or whatever. First of all, I got a little teeny tiny yard, but I don't do bugs, mosquitoes, etc. So that wouldn't be fun for me, but I do agree. Do something different that you don't t typically do. Go to an art museum or something. Do something. I'm in D.C., so there's a lot to do here. And explore new cuisine. Okay, definitely. But what I probably would do, because I try new foods. I don't, I don't do Indian, so don't really want to try Ethiopian. But I probably would step out of the box and try something different or eat something I don't eat on a regular. I probably would do that. Number six, follow your passion. Have a hobby or pastime you don't have time for? Well, get back into it. Start that short story or poem you've always wanted to write. Churl, that's for you. Okay. Um, spend the day cooking a favorite dish. Not. Not OD. I'm not doing that. Play 18 holes of golf and get back into the swing of things. Just follow your heart. So, I agree with that. Um, what would I do? I probably would just relax, go to the spa or something like that. But do just something you like to do. I may hit the pool. What else do I like to do? I like to roller skate, but it's become the older I've gotten, the harder it is. But I might do something like that. Go-kart racing, I love to do that. So, you know, stuff like that. Find water. That's number seven. I just said that. Whether you're bathing in it, relaxing by it, or, or gazing at it, Water is a summer. Water is what summer is all about. Picnic at the lake. Read a book by a fountain. Go to the beach. Simply take some time to enjoy it. Okay, I totally agree with that. Just say that. Go to the pool. Go to the beach. Whatever it is. Reconnect. And this is number eight. Make an effort to focus on loved ones and friends. Have a conversation over a glass of wine with your spouse. Call a friend you haven't spoken to in a while and catch up. Spend time talking with your children. Strong relationships are key to our happiness. Totally agree with that. I know if I was on a staycation, I would definitely want to spend it with my boyfriend or my close friends, family, etc. And number nine, one of my favorites. Make it a spa day. Make it a spa day. Put yourself in a soothing bath at home and soak in the tub filled with your favorite romantic scents. Of course, there's always a massage envy spa. I knew they won't plug it, but I agree. Uh, schedule a therapeutic massage session or healthy skin facial and enjoy a sense of well being um, a well being and rejuvenation. It's hard to read. Uh, that is, after all, what getting away is all about. So yes. I definitely would do that. I would make it a spa day. I love to get my massages. I've had a facial once or twice. <laughs> my skin did feel good, but it hurt. Like when it go through the process of getting the blackheads out. And I know that that's what you need. But when I'm trying to relax, having my face poked and prodded, not my idea. But some people like that. I did do a um body scrub one time. Like they wrapped me in like this mud stuff. And it smelled really good. And then they had me take a shower. Then I came back and they put like this mango scented stuff on me. Oh my God, it was so wonderful. So yeah, that's what I would do. So again, staycation challenge. So like I said, sometimes like this year, I am going, I've been doing many vacations as you guys know. I've been to the Jazz Festival in Panama City Beach. I went to my niece's graduation in St. Thomas. I was supposed to squeeze in a trip to New York next week. But just, it's a lot going on and finances and planning. And so I'm going to have to pause that one. I think I'm going to move it to like October. But then in August, I'm going with my boyfriend and his family to Tennessee. So I got little vacations planned. But like last weekend, the 4th, I called that my staycation because I stayed here. I caught up on all my DVR shows. I relaxed. I chilled. My brother threw some stuff on the grill. So, you know, that's I like to do long weekends and just veg. I think it kind of gets on my boyfriend's nerves because he's like, don't you want to get out the house? And I do when I want to, but like some weeks after teaching, two nights a week, staying late at work, like I don't want to do anything. I really don't. And maybe that makes me lazy. I'm not sure, but that's just what it is, y'all. I ripped and ran from high school till about 35. And then it was like, eh, 
I'm in chill mode, okay? I work hard to pay for this house, so I'm going to enjoy this house, okay? If that means staying in it Friday night, Saturday night, I'm cool with it. But no, I do go out like I met a friend yesterday for happy hour. So I get out in little spurts. But normally on the weekend, you can find me right here at the CRIB. All right. But anyway, y'all, have a great weekend. Like I said in my vlog earlier today, find some good music, relax, chill, and just enjoy your Saturday. Okay? Until the next vlog, holla.